at Gemini's if you want to come on in and have a seat. We're going to scry the other side of your ink blot made in your name and essence if you want to take a screenshot so you can scry in your own time and terms for shapes and symbols that speak to your psyche and psychic senses. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for being here. I'm if you're returning, thank you so much for being a subscriber, sharing, liking, all that kind of good stuff. All right, Gemini's, we're going to scry your ink and on Terran Oracle and the spirit box here is obviously kicking, rocking and rolling for any audio additions that may resonate, but of course, receive a release freely. Gems, let's take a moment, close the eyes, cleansing the palette of perception, letting go of the linear, activating the abstract mind and ancient awareness to perceive and receive symbolic support. Gemini. Uh, a skunk skunk tail interesting skunk a skunk tail but then i hear the song like from ducktales a ducktales ooh. maybe boundaries about money spending investing maybe even something about a home that's that's where i'm leaning but you know me please always follow what you see sense or feel and feel free to comment below as well Something about a turkey as well, like a turkey vulture. Okay, so something's crossing a bridge and there are, hmm. Sorry, and I'm also seeing a fossil of a fish. I feel like it's old. I don't think this fish still exists anymore. And when I say Kyle. old, I mean like old, old, old. Uh, I'll turn turn this around and show you. So if you want to see from my perspective, there we go. Right in here. So there's the turkey vulture. There's this bridge, skunk tail. And I, but I'm also seeing like a squirrel. But they're creating a bridge. And I just heard the... Oh, somewhere over the rainbow. Somewhere over the rainbow. I'm also smelling something. I'm smelling something. It's leading me somewhere, Gemini's, that makes me feel like I'm I'm heading towards this bridge. You know that it's the follow the yellow brick road, follow the yellow brick road. It's a yellow bridge. I think the rainbow is what is you bring to it. It's it's not a rainbow bridge. Uh, it could also be rainbow bridge if you're in the Canada or U.S. We do have a rainbow bridge that connects the the countries in Niagara. I think it's Niagara Falls, Niagara region anyway. But it's I'm seeing it as light information. Or a light interaction, like whatever this transition is. Now, if there was somebody that has already passed, they crossed over at the highest, highest good. So uh, whether you might consider they were suffering, suffering that they took with them, I don't think they did. I'm not getting like there. And now I'm seeing it like a flamingo. They were, their essence was ready to, uh, to be received on the reflective side, knowing it's all one side. It's like it's not really another side. It's just another aspect of the one side of all that is type thing is how I'm, how I'm reading into that. They might have left things. If you're if resonating with uh, somebody that has passed, that they might have left. Uh, I'm going to follow the squirrels analogy, like nuts and stuff in different spaces. Like maybe, you know, in a box. And then there was also some stuff in a wall or some stuff it could even just be like a car and a house or things but they left things i don't know something about the boundaries okay i'm also seeing this as a as a paint like a, a paintbrush yeah it's like one of the big ones Big, like, uh, thank you. Big brush strokes, big brush strokes. Now, whether that's in relation to the person who has passed or Gemini's, that's what's in your aura right now. Like, Gemini's are just making big, broad brush, brush strokes, brush strokes. Eh, maybe if you're a swimmer, you can go brush strokes or brush strokes, big and broad. Like, I almost as if I'm creating boundaries that are. In any context, of course, but they feel, 
oh, that was a weird way to see that. You know when people hide, or at least in movies, I didn't say people, but in movies, they have, and I'm seeing Don't like leave the, me. the show Lost or something like that, and they'll have very thin wires that you can trip and like slice and do things that's how i'm seeing it in a creepy way so that's like a really fine line of a boundary where it's like laser sharp but it's unseen this feels big and broad and uh kind of like smooshy like it, it might be well received because it's big and broad by others but gemini's you're gemini's and you probably have both <laughs> you pro- but i'm meeting the big broad strokes of it and it feels well it's protecting what I think is this fish fossil. Oh, it's like it's like a mixture of an eel. An eel and something else. Cuz it has bones. Like I can I can see it see it, but I the closest thing I could say this fish it was like an eel trout or something. I don't know. It's it's very large. Hmm. Hold on. I got to flip it because I just saw something and I'm not sure if it was in my imagination. Okay. So Gemini's give me two moments here to dig in a little deeper because in... As someone is crossing this light bridge, light information, apply whatever channel that feels good, right? Personal, professional, creative, corporate. You know, I want a new job. I want a new car. I want this. I want this. I want this. We'll always be in a state of want. So whatever it is that you want is fine. Just know, not just know, but once it's received, Jacket. most likely you'll, you'll want something else. Hmm. Okay, but... This might be in regards to some something more, I'm going to say ancient or old solely, no. quite specifically is how I'm hearing it, old solely. Because this uh, creature is, is crossing the bridge, but it's covered by the ancient eel fish. And if those symbols mean anything to you, please, by all means, follow those. That, But there's another creature that kind of hangs from... The ceiling of this cave that holds this fossilized eelfish. I understand this is completely symbolic. And if you're new to me, that's we absolutely as aura astronauts travel nonsense to make sense. There's also another being there watching you. It feels like it's male. Oh, if I go in even deeper, uh, there's like a whole town or something in there. Wow. Okay. I feel like it's from a specific culture. When I when I wander closer to Oh. Okay. I left something. I left something. I walked away from something cuz I w- was following the scent of maybe it's like a spiritual journey or this uh situation that I wanted to have. Dancer of inspiration. Yes. I, f- I followed my inspiration. I followed my inspiration. Look at, and they're even like on, on a bridge. Yes, and that's where I'm at here with the turkey vulture slash flamingo right there. Whoop. There it is. Somebody might have also left a religion or a culture that didn't suit them anymore. Not because it was deemed right or wrong. Uh, I think it, it feels like just growth, like the spirit of such led is leading you through inspiration somewhere else. Dancer of promise. Hunter of path. That's mine. Ooh, I feel like you're very loud. Little shouty spirit box. Maybe it's just for me. I'll bring these up in case anything resonates or stands out. I feel as though Gemini's maybe you've made a promise to yourself. You've made a promise to somebody. 
Maybe you've even made a prayer as a promise. Like I, I promise if I receive this prayer or something along that lines, I will do this. And yes, you're, you're doing it. You're following up on your integrity of your commitment or whatever you had said. And I'm following that path now. I see it going up, but there's still even in here and in here. It's like I keep seeing somebody like tapping on your back. Like, excuse me, excuse me. I don't know if they are a distraction put, put in place. I, I don't know if they are a distraction or if they need help. I think you might, because you're on the specific path, like you've left something to add to it. Not because it's dismissed necessarily. If that's how it, it's not how it feels to me, because I personally wouldn't necessarily, you know, uh, feel the need to have to hate to walk away. It would be okay. I've I've learned what I needed to learn. Or I've received what I want to receive, and I'm going to move, keep following my inspiration to add to it, and to further alchemize my ancient uh, protection. I don't know whatever this eo may mean, and I'm probably really going to have to look that up inevitably it's going to lead you to a peak that is uh, going to require a leap of faith high priestess but you're leading yourself there because there's something you know that's worth it like you're following that intuitive inspiration maybe if it's it's, it's like i'm seeing a fire walk yeah or hot coal walk like you're you're not going through suffering but something gemini's justice to, <laughs> i don't sorry there's an ink all over my hands it's like to to balance the bones of my being based on bliss hmm Okay, sorry, Gemini's. I'm going to keep going here. Like, share, subscribe if I didn't say so already. Thank you to all those who donate. You warm my haunted heart uh, through PayPal or buy me a coffee. And if you want your own uh, personalized, you can be my muse. The links are below in the description. Okay, page of spears. That's where it's going to lead you to. Okay, yep, I'm going to share this, see if I can... So if you're on this path right now and you're going to actually return to some, it's Happy. almost like you're going to return to some sort of ancient understanding. When I say ancient, I don't mean to get all like, oh, you're old. So that's, it's like some inherent knowing or some, some form of energy is going to step forward to help you. I hear you. And it's, you're going to come up to this cliff and you're interesting how your ink blood is in, uh, in one of these portions of the book. So it's going to lead you here. So you've left way, way, way in there. There's that something tapping you on the back. And you're going to come up to this leap. To this leap. You might even decide to go down a little bit. If It's almost like if you decide to fall, this serves as well. Because the fall isn't what we think it is. Like in regards to like linear language. This might be like a, hmm. do, you, do you see it? There's a figure in here. Okay, when you get right. here and take this leap, hmm. uh, how do I say? Yep. It's like I'm seeing a mummy that's not passed on. It kind of feels like this other version of you or an aspect of you that you are nurturing. It's currently mummified, but almost like in like a seaweed wrap or something spa-ish that is really nurturing and allowing like, you know, death and rebirth type feel. And when you get there, you're going to be able to, to look upon it. It's like if you jump in or take the leap and you think you're going to fall, you're actually going to fall into, into this and it's going to become reanimated within you. And if you and or decide to take the leap over, over, you're going to have other experiences that is going to bring you to the base and you're going to like slip it on. I didn't mean to say it like in a weird way that way, but 
So it's like you can do no wrong in this in this way because it's for your whole being. I think it, it's, yeah, because when you get here, you can go up or you can go down. I think it's all going to lead you in the same way. Same space, different ways. Page of Spears. And it's, there's that ancient, sorry, information. Like you can see it. You're, you're guided to it. Somebody might be a little angry or got a gur on Gemini's if you're or part of the collective. Uh, okay, sorry, it's switching. It's switching on me, so I'm gonna go with it. There's two uh, two conversations between two males. No, there's one conversation between two males. Well, possibly more, but I'm mad. I, yeah, somebody's mad. Somebody's upset. It's not a positive conversation. And if I may, the kind of has like vampire vibes because I'm seeing it like one aspect or one of these expressions is uh, taking life force. And the other one, yeah, it's just taking. It's like I can feel I'm being drained. Like this might be for a small portion of the, the Gemini Collective. Or maybe you feel that like you've been running in, you know, male and male energy versus feeling more balanced between male and female energies. The magician. You could, there could be something alchemizing externally that is a reflection. You, you get it, right? You, you get it. Do I need to say it? I don't think so. But I do feel the need sometimes just to, to help me carry through. King of Swords, Six of Swords. In a, in a weird way, when I'm watching this conversation, I kind of feel like, because I can see, see like, like I said, like my essence, my life force being sucked out of me. Now, whether they're taking your... Uh, ideas things that you pick up on like Who they they want to know your what do you think what do you think what do you think and really they want to take that so they then they will express that's what they think does that make sense so it kind of brings me back to the skunk with the boundaries skunk with the boundaries because somebody is tied in and when i see this conversation it doesn't make me happy it does it makes me mad it makes me a little uh, ticked off but everyone's pointing fingers at each other, which is the interesting part. Oh, there's another card up there. Come inside. Two of coins. Yeah, it's like we're all wrapped up in this uh, material. This is, a, this is not a spirit conversation or it's a spirit conversation between two densities, people in density. A Lannister always pays his debts. Somebody is taking from you and it's, and hopefully, or Gemini's, you're not taking from from someone else, the magician. Okay, well, that was interesting. Thank you. So what just came through was if a Gemini is taking, it could be because that person is owed. Maybe this is very tangible, like money or something like that. You know, it's like, what is that called? What is that called? Um, like if you don't pay your car loan and then they come and take your car as what's that word? Or, uh, oh, I, my linear tongue just doesn't work all the time in here in the, in the liminal. Anyway, you know what I'm saying? Oh my God. It's like right here. I don't know why it's not tra translating re oh okay i got to move on you know what i'm saying when they do that right maybe you feel like that's what you're doing and you're like no you whatever the case may be you get it you get it somebody needs to pay up their debt something needs to be squared up maybe you're in debt maybe there's karma at play here six of swords king of swords hmm 
I kind of have a energetic, emotional moment here where I'm, I can't decide if I want to fight or flight. Fight or flight. I don't think there's really a... Universe. The I great, wanted. The great one of the nighttime. Does somebody have to flee something? Does somebody flee a situation? The hangman. Oh, okay, Gemini's. Five of swords. Okay, so somebody might have had to flee a situation quickly. Or Gemini's, maybe some of you feel that a part of your world or, or the person, if you've had a conversation with somebody, And you're undecided, like, do I go back? Do I not? Or do I, w whatever those thoughts would be, right? That internal conversation. It's in the aura, the magician. You're going to make your magic happen, but there's something about keeping my calm and cool and knowing where my energy is and calling it back. That makes me feel really good when I just said that. Calling my energy back from any, you know, vampire succubus kind of energies. And I call my energy back. Because even in, if it was t taken from me, I was part of that alchemy. I allowed it to happen for one reason or another. Maybe I wanted to enhance a certain way I was feeling this, that, or the other. But I'm calling it back now. That makes me feel really good starting with my energy first. Hmm. Gemini is powerful. Okay, we're closing out here. There's anything else going on for the Geminis? A little inspiration. Thank you so much again for being here with me, for being patient, dream thief. Yeah, some something didn't work out is what I'm getting from this conversation with uh, the two people, the two male male energies. And when I say male energies, they, their physical earthly expression could be anything. It's not my concern. She maybe just butting heads. It didn't, it didn't work out. But I kind of like Gemini's. Don't don't take away your own dreams because something didn't work out with somebody. Mm, Yellow takes me back to the beginning of of your very own wisdom. As soon as you get what you want, you'll you'll create a desire for something else, and you'll want something more. Build a new dream. And I'm back in like your that yeah. Oh my goodness. So I'm back in like that ancient wisdom and. Uh, the light bridge, the turkey vulture, gobble, gobble, gobble. People do like to take from you, but you're you're part of that alchemy. So brush stroke boundaries. <laughs> All right, Gemini is closing out. Fortune's wheel, luck and right timing, transpersonal watchers and benefactor grace and generosity. I'll bring these up so you can, of course, see sense and feel for yourself if anything stands out. Fan yourself with your knowings because you do have them. Notice when things are, you know, tapping you on the back. Grace. I do, for anyone looking for a relationship that's getting out of a, you know, maybe not a great one. Uh, I do see by st stepping forward with grace and leading with grace. Uh, it does come where there's a balance of energies. They're not... Uh, the alchemy works. Transpersonal watchers look right in timing. It's all leading you. It's all leading you to embody it, like the spirit that is of so much more than what meets the eye. I, I know that doesn't make sense, but that ancientness, that old soulness of stepping in, it's like when I see that version step in and it's like slides into that skin from the beginning. It becomes bigger. Like the energy, your aura, you're literally your aura and everything is merged together. Harmony within the self first bliss within my beings, bliss within my bones, old soul, new student, Come over here. teacher, student, student, teacher. And I will create a dream. No one can take my dream. It's not about like no one can take my dream away from me because that feels very, no one can take my dream away from me. And it just Taylor. feels, you know, 
This feels, I'm not going to take my dreams away from myself. I'm going to hold my dream. I'm going to revise my dream. I'm going to adapt as I move around very different landscapes. And also maybe something about canyons. You might live somewhere like where there's like a red, like reddish hue sand or uh, brick or block or something along that lines. Okay, Geminis, I'm going to let you go. I have rambled on, taken up way too much of your time. I am so grateful that you have been my muse. Uh, You've been a great audience and I love scrying for you. So until next time.